Welcome back everybody to another Star Wars thread video, hope you all are feeling well And today we're gonna be talking about the Dark Saber's role during the Clone Wars During the Clone Wars the Dark Saber came into the position of Pre Vizsla, governor of Concordia and leader of the Death Watch Vizsla kept it on his back when he wore his armor During the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi of the Jedi High Council discovered Death Watch's camp near the planet's mines Using the Darksaber, Vizsla fought Kenobi as his troops evacuated. Though he boasted some skill in combat, Vizsla was unable to defeat Kenobi or prevent his escape with Dukas Satine. Following Vizsla's fallout with the Separatists and Count Dooku, Vizsla and his fellow Death Watch troops made camp on Karlag. After the arrival of Senator Lux Bontari, Vizsla attempted to murder Chieftain Peter with a dark saber, but instead struck down his granddaughter when she threw herself in front of him as his men destroyed the Ming post town. After Bunturi's friend Padawan Ahsoka Tano revealed herself as a Jedi and tried to defend the Ming Po, she was subdued. Later, Vizsla attempted to execute her with a dark saber. However, Tano freed herself with the help of her astromech droid R2D2. She then slew multiple Mandalorian warriors and dueled Vizsla until she slashed his jetpack, allowing her and Bonsari to make their escape. Following the discovery of the rogue Sith Lord Maul and his brother Savage Opress near their camp on Sandbar, Vizsla agreed to an alliance between Death Watch and Maul's Shadow Collective. Vizsla used the Dark Saber on Nal Hutar against the Hot Clans. Grand Council Nictogards. Vizsla then led the Council's leader Jabba to agree to join the Alliance. On Mandalore, following the Shadow Collective's attacks on the police in Sundari, Vizsla and his Death Watch troopers stepped in to protect against the Collective's forces. However, this was actually staged with the intention of overthrowing Dukas Satine's government. Vizsla used the Dark Saber in a staged duel against Opris and then arrested him. Thanks to his efforts, Vizsla and the Death Watch were hailed as heroes in the eyes of the Mandalorian populace. Vizsla then betrayed Maul and Opris and had them imprisoned. After their escape, Maul challenged Vizsla for leadership of Death Watch. Vizsla used the Dark Saber against Maul. Despite putting up an impressive fight with the use of both the Dark Saber and his armor's numerous weapons, Vizsla was disarmed, defeated, and summarily executed by Maul with the Dark Saber. Maul then claimed the Dark Saber and leadership of Death Watch, much to chagrin of Vizsla's lieutenant, Night Owl, Bokatan Christ, who refused to follow a leadership who was not a Mandalorian despite him winning the Fabled Blade fairly in combat. After Maul lured Kenobi back to Mandalore, Maul used the Dark Saber to kill Douglas Satine in front of Kenobi as part of his revenge against the Jedi Master. After Kenobi made his escape thanks to Bo-Katan, Maul and Opris were confronted by Maul's former master Darth Sidious who came to eliminate his former apprentice before he grew even more powerful. Together Maul and Opris fought Sidious but they were no match against the Sith Lord. After Opress was killed, Maul drew the Dark Saber and wielded it in tandem with his red blade against his former master, but unable to defeat him. Sidious tossed aside the Dark Saber as he subdued and tortured Maul with Force Lightning. As his former apprentice begged for mercy, Sidious simply replied that there was no mercy as he continued to torture him. Prime Minister Almec and the Mandalorian Super Commandos recovered the Dark Saber following Maul's captured by Sidious. After being freed from the prison known as the Spire by Gar Saxon and Rukast, Maul reclaimed the Dark Saber and used the weapon against General Grievous' forces and Magna Guards when they came to Sandbar to attack the base. Maul fought Grievous until his forces were forced to retreat. Maul again used the Dark Saber when he boarded Grievous' Dreadnought to keep him in check during the battle on Ord Mantel. Maul then threatened to kill Count Dooku with the Dark Saber as a means of revenge against Sidious. However, Maul freed Dooku and the two used their weapons against Kenobi, Mace Windu, Elisakura and Tib Lee. 
and their forces as they battle at Maul's secret asteroid outpost Vizsla Keep 09. He then used the Dark Saber against Shakira and Windu while Dooku killed Tibli. After Maul returned to Dathomir to help Mother Talzin regain her physical form, Maul was confronted by Sidious and Grievous at the Knight Brothers village. He along with Talzin, who had possessed Dooku, fought Sidious and Grievous. Maul used the Dark Saber in the battle until he and Talzin were overwhelmed. He fled the battle as Talzin sacrificed herself and was killed by Grievous. Ok guys, this was all for today's video. Hope you will all have a fantastic rest of the day. And Star Wars Red is out!